CVAT is available for free for individual data scientists and small teams. You can try it on CVAT.ai. Let's take a look. Here's the authorization page. First, you should create an account or sign in with an existing one. To create an account, it's necessary to fill in your name, surname, and choose a username. Afterwards, your username will be used to sign in to the CVAT tool. To complete registration, enter in a working email address and create a strong password. Click the Submit button to finish registration. A confirmation message will be sent to your chosen email address. Just click the link to confirm your account. After confirming, you'll be automatically sent to the sign-in page. Then, simply enter in your username and password to sign into the tool. Welcome to see that. Let's click on the Projects tab and create a new project. Just click the plus button and choose the Create New Project option. Let's specify the project's name and then add labels we need using the Add Label option in the Constructor tab. In addition to the name, you also have the option to choose a label's color and add some other attributes. Clicking on the Continue button under the label name saves that label. Then you can continue adding new labels or press the Submit button to complete project creation. Back here at the project page, we can now create a new task in the project. Just press the plus button on the bottom right. Here's the new task page. All you have to enter in here is the name field and the video or images you'll be using using the Select Files button. Then just click Submit. This is the task page. If you want, you can split a video or image dataset into multiple jobs. In our case, we're sticking with one. Now we can get started annotating. The toolbar is on the left side. Let's choose the rectangle object type. Choose the label you want, and then press Shape. Click and drag the bounding box around the person. Our first annotation is ready. Press the N key to draw a new bounding box with the same label we just used. Then, just drag out the box in the same way you did previously. Now, we'll finish annotating this image by going back to the rectangle in the toolbar and choosing the car object. Then, click and drag to draw a bounding box around the car. Now, let's move on to the next image by pressing the F hotkey or by clicking the Go Next arrow in the top. Let's keep labeling. Now, let's save our work. Click the Save icon in the top left or use the hotkey Control plus S. We can also export our annotations. To do this, first we need to find the Export Task Dataset option inside the menu. Press OK and a zip archive with your annotation will be downloaded automatically. Opening up the zip archive, we can see what our annotation looks like. We hope you've enjoyed this brief tour of how to use CVAT. Happy annotating.